Tuesday, May 19th, 2020, 2.39 p.m. We're on 1 John chapter 4. Thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confess, confesseth that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Hallelujah. And every spirit that confesseth confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already it is blah, blah, and even now already is it in the world ye are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world they are of the world therefore they speak of the world and of the world heareth them we are of God <laughs> he that knoweth God heareth us he that is not of God heareth not us. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is why they hate us. They hate me. You know, I don't know why the... <laughs> well, thank you, Jesus, for this. Verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth... <laughs> he that loveth not knoweth not God... For God is love. And this was manifested, the love of God toward us, because that, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through Him. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be, our, to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. And we have known that we have known and believed that, verse 16, and we have known and believed the love of God, the love that God hath to, hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Hallelujah. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. Hallelujah. Wait. Herein, let's read verse 17 again. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. This goes, no matter what the skin color. Okay, you hear me? Hate the sin, not the sinner. First John chapter 5 Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God and every one that loveth him that begot love that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous for whosoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith who is he that overcometh the world, 
but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in, he in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not, God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the, the record that God gave his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that he have the petitions that we desired of him. If any man see his brother sin, a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. This is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. Let me read verse 16 again. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There, There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin, and there and there is a sin not unto death. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth into wickedness. Hallelujah. And we know that the Son of God has come, and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even, even in his Son Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. Thank you, Jude. Thank you, Jesus.